morning you guys it is freaking early in the morning and we are on our way to my suegras right now say hi excuse her messy hair say hi i've been ali in the house yeah yeah why did you get to come trying to kill me you're trying to get the life insurance from me oh my god to claim that. i would be smarter than that <laughs> i would do it enough i noticed this so i threw i made myself throw up <laughs> <laughs> whatever i would be smarter than that if i really wanted to do that mm -hmm. i would hire someone to do it for me Damn. just kidding just kidding just kidding love. just kidding <laughs> so um oh and then i also did the cheese challenge on him fucking hilarious i'm gonna see if i can post it with this video <laughs> He's already looking at me like, damn, you asshole. Let me get you back, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I literally threw cheese at him for like a good three <laughs> minutes. Three fucking minutes. And I'm talking about like slamming the cheese on his face y no se levantaba, ni siquiera se movía. There was a point where he actually even like grabbed the cheese and just like left it on his face. <laughs> oh my God, this guy. It was fucking hilarious. But um, we're gonna go to my Swagra's house right now. Um, give her an injection, pick up some food because I think she made menudo or pozole. And um, the girls are actually gonna stay at home while we go to Burbank. We left Aubrey in charge. <laughs> <laughs> we left Aubrey in charge of Alyssa and Adeline. We just put the security code and we said if anything happens, call us through your iPad. <laughs> Kidding, my brother staying with him, staying with them, so <clears throat> he'll take good care of them. My brother's in good hands, <laughs> the girls will take care of him, <laughs> the girls will feed him sopitas maruchanas <laughs> and chorizo con huevo. <laughs> Dude, fun fact Aubrey actually knows how to make chorizo con huevo, and she's only eight. She makes some good chorizo con huevo. Yeah. It's funny. All right, so we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Mood. 
That's fucking me right there, dude. Can I go? Yeah. It's too good. <laughs> oh my god. I have a big ass forehead. One of these. So we're trying to figure out what to eat. Just trying to kill some time. Walking around. Moana Hawaiian barbecue? Mm. Moana, do that? Moana, Moana. Moana. Yeah, we can't find a freaking shoe store. We found Skechers. But he's too good for Skechers. <laughs> We're gonna go find our nearest Payless shoe store. Don't they close the They close them all down already? And they're fifty percent off. You get, a, you get a BOGO discount. You'll get your shoes for free. <laughs> It's called sushi something, like sushi love or love sushi. It's called Fuji sushi. So this is where we're at. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning and then you end up throwing in the trash can. For real, this time for food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate when a restaurant has pictures because I want to see what the fuck I'm going to eat before I order it. So we're gonna get a roll and then what are they called it? The uh, green beans or what are they called? Green beans. So we actually ended up getting green beans. I think we got the wrong order. But they're good. But they're good. They're hella bomb. And my food is finally here. I got a what was it called? A the dynamite? dynamite lobster roll. And then he got an Alaskan, Alaskan, Alaskan roll. Bomb. I thought they were gonna be a bigger to be honest. I mean, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Bomb. Okay, so we just got done with the laser hair removal, and I really wanted to record, but then what was she like a nurse or a tech? tech? Mm -hmm. She was just kind of like, oh, um, that we were gonna kind of be on her in her way, I feel yeah. like she said. Like she didn't want to come out of social media. Yeah, she, she was just kind of like, oh, what is it for? And I told her, I was like, oh, it's for YouTube. And she's like, oh, well, um, I kind of don't want to be in social media. I'm like, no, that, that's fine. You know, that's fine. And then I did my my full legs. And so she was like, um, what did she say? She was like, that there was going to be no room. Pretty much kind of like, there was no space, huh? Like, yeah, like the room wasn't big enough. We were against the wall and she didn't, think she, was, she didn't want me to be in her way pretty much yeah because the, the way that the rooms are they're kind of small pretty much just saying that it was going to be on the way so i was like that's fine like oh shit, sorry um i was kind of like yeah that's fine like don't even don't even record it's it's all good I like it's hot, dude. but we're gonna head home so the whole laser thing i got my legs my underarms and then the bikini area my underarms it wasn't bad it was a weird feeling like it literally felt like a rubber band like they were snapping a rubber band back and forth mm -hmm. yeah like I thought it was gonna be more painful because she did my underarms first and then she moved to my legs just because I do have fucking spider legs and they were gonna take a long time yeah, long <laughs> I freaking have some long legs and um she did say that the lo the legs were gonna take the longest just because she had to do like sessions and um she did marks she marked my legs with wax the, yeah like a wax like pencil just so she knows where she just so she can keep track of where she was lasering and um well, let me set this down a little bit hey the one is coming out on the vlog finally sure. so she did um do like little Damn, baby girl, you see it? Um, yeah, just so keeping track of where she was going, pretty much. And um, that thighs didn't hurt at all. It did not hurt at all. But once she got to the ankle, to the area of the ankle and inside my leg, like, that shit fucking hurt. <laughs> that I literally, I was like, holding my breath. Was that bad? Yeah. And I was like, don't be a little bitch, don't be a little bitch. You can do this. Mm -hmm. Pero la niña quería laser. 
La niña quería laser. I was just surprised she didn't dress you faster than I did. <laughs> Dude, and then she told me once we finished with my legs, she obviously had to go through the bikini area and she was just gonna like drop your pants type thing. I was like, girlfriend. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> I'm not that easy. You gotta buy me dinner first. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty, it was, was interesting. Cool. It was pretty cool. It was pretty fast too. Uh, it was pretty fast. We were there for maybe about 30 minutes. I think we waited longer in the waiting area than the whole session. Mm -hmm. This whole session. It was pretty cool though. I have to come back in six weeks. So she did say that depending on how my skin reacts. Sorry, I'm holding the camera just because I have it on the dash. You know, quiero que se va a caer. She did say that I have to come back in six weeks for the legs and then any other area is usually four weeks but I just, I'm just gonna come back in six weeks just to do everything all over again and she pretty much said that after this on um, the second time when I come back depending how fast and how thick my hairs grow back then that'll determine the amount of sessions that I need I did buy a bundle of three sessions so for sure I have two more sessions that, to go but I mean the fucking ankles actually was painful for sure I'm not even gonna lie Bamba. It was pretty cool. And she just told me just to avoid like sunlight, direct sunlight and like exfoliating my skin and um so I am scared that my skin is gonna react to the laser just because I do have very very sensitive skin. That was one of the reasons that I wanted to do laser hair removal, just was because I get um, razor burn really, really quickly, really, really quickly. I've used like different um, shavers and I've razors. used, oh, razors, sorry, <laughs> razors. I've used recent, I've used different razors. I've used the female razors, I use the men razors and Todos son iguales, pero since I was little, I've always had that issue. <laughs> Fun fact, you guys, I started shaving my legs when I was like in fifth grade. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that I was that hairy. <laughs> I was like little Chewbacca <laughs> at school. <laughs> yeah, since fifth grade. That's crazy. And that's fucking kind of crazy to think about that Aubrey's in third grade, so like two more, two years, more years, and she's probably. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start teaching her how to shave now. No, you're not. <laughs> Just kidding. But that's crazy, huh? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah. My mom used to get so mad. She used to get pissed. I still hurt <laughs> <her baby. laughs> I, I I shaved before my brothers. <laughs> that's funny. I taught my brothers how to shave. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, my mom used to get so mad. She used to get pissed when I used to shave my legs. Especially maybe because I was little. I don't know. Oh yeah, for the imaginaba. Like, but dude, that was embarrassing. Harry has legs. Yeah. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I mean, fuck, that was an adult. It's so embarrassing. Imagine as a little kid. I mean, nobody ever like told me anything or like made fun of me or anything like that, pero... Because they wanted to do it too. They just wanted to do it at that young age. Oh, they were scared of their mom. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, YOLO. She whoops my ass anyways. <laughs> I kind of missed the girls. I miss telling them, shut the fuck up. Stop fighting. Stop fucking fighting. No, I don't want to listen to that song. I don't want to listen to JoJo Siwa. Yeah, I, I miss yelling, yelling at them. It feels weird being out on a Sunday. We never do anything we on a Sunday. We never, never, never do anything on a Sunday. We always stay home and just do, Clean. yeah, just do our chores and laundry. Laundry is on Sundays. For us, laundry is on Sunday. So we hate doing the most too. I know. Laundry is so fast. I told Giovanni one time, I was like, when it was just us two, and then whenever we just had Aubrey, I should have never complained about laundry. Because now doing laundry for five people, that's like a whole nother job. And like, you should be paying me for that shit. <laughs> me paying you? The girls. I'm gonna start charging the girls. They need to learn how to wash. Yeah. Nah, they're still little. But it's a lot of clothes, dude. We literally, I try, I try to wash clothes every single Sunday, which for the most part we are really good at it. Um, but 
damn dude it's like literally like five six loads just in one day i'm like how many clothes can two little three little girls dirty shower once a week and they literally we try to shower them once a week just so they don't <laughs> use any more clothes <laughs> they're gonna be like fucking okay, okay, okay. No, I'm kidding. And then I'm usually in my scrubs, and if I'm not in scrubs, I'm in gym clothes. And then you too. Dude, I freaking bought this shirt a long time ago. And I never really wore it just because I didn't have like the proper bra. So I like tried it on today, but you can still kind of see my bra from the other side. From the like right by my armpits, and I don't like that shit. But I was like, YOLO. Brave today. Yeah. I was like, what? Might as well just wear it. Fun fact, you guys, I was the CEO of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. <laughs> I retired two years ago. And now I sometimes forget that I have to buy my shirts just a little bit bigger, but I can make it in bien and my bra won't be showing on the sides. Okay, so we just got home from Burbank. Um, we just got home. The girls are here. Say hi. Hi. Excuse their messy hair. Um, Joanny no. just went. <laughs> Joanny went to go pick up Adeline. That my little sister stayed at my suegra's house. We ended up going to go get menudo in the morning, and Adeline just decided to stay, so she stayed over there, and Joanny's over there picking her up. She so yeah, you guys, eating. she was eating. I had such a good time eating. today. You normally, like we said earlier, normally we don't go nowhere on Sundays. We're usually home um, doing laundry, catching up on house house chores. Always um, doing boring stuff. So today, it technically feels like a Saturday to me. But um, we're going to go ahead and end this video. But before we end this video, I do want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody that watched our last video vlog everybody that reached out to us congratulating us on this new journey um everybody whether they text whether they called whether they sent a dm on instagram thank you guys so much everybody that subscribed everybody that viewed my video thank you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart i really really do appreciate all the positivity that we received it's crazy it's it's really really crazy and i'm just so excited for this new journey and then i also uh, i want to say happy father's day to every father out there yeah. you guys are the real mvps and i also want to take the time <clears throat> excuse me and say happy father's day to my husband to giovanni um i love you so much and i know i don't say this enough but i am very grateful for everything that you do for us um, the girls absolutely love you. You're their favorite parent because I'm the mean <laughs> one. But I really, really do appreciate everything that you do for us. Um, you guys don't understand how much he helps me out, whether it is with the girls, whether it is with the house. He literally is my backbone and I rely on him so, so much. And I do want to say thank you. I am not a very emotional person. I don't say what i feel sometimes so um this is kind of weird for me but yeah <laughs> i do want to tell you that i love you babe and we appreciate everything that you do and we will see what you know what we do next how, yeah what happens next so we are going to end this video right now and again thank you guys so so much and don't forget to subscribe yeah Go ahead and give this video a, a big thumbs, 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 thumbs up. up. Yeah. And um, go ahead and turn on your notifications. That way you guys don't miss another video. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Peace out.